This week I spent some time with a business owner who had asked me for some help with product delivery, like how to deliver more, um, how to create more products in a product line and, and really wanted help with expanding his product line and even maybe doing some things that we do. And we sat down and we figured out that for him to do that could be the most disastrous thing his company could encounter. I'll share with you exactly how we figured that out quickly in just a sec. I'm Alex Sharfman, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them break them, then rewrite them around our own will. We don't accept our destiny, we define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop, and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few, who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future, and instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. I've been a consultant for fast growth entrepreneurs for coming up on 25 years. Actually, it's 25 years now, because I started when I was 21. I'm 46 now, so I've hit that number. <laughs> it just happened on November 12th. And in my career as a consultant, one of the things that I try and have tried to do and have done over and over again is take really complicated systems and complicated processes in business and figure out what are the simple ways to identify, to look at, to examine, to an analyze a business and get immediate clarity on what needs to be done next. And one of those things that I've created is what I call the five core functions of a business. The five things that a business... Um, will always have to do and will always have to involve in order to grow and continue growing as a business. And they are lead generation, lead, so the acquiring of permission to market to someone. Here's what lead generation is. It's getting someone to raise their hand, to give you their email, to give you, to get on a chat bot to, uh, or on your chat list, to, to get anywhere that you can talk to them and they give you permission to communicate with them. Then nurture is the communication you do with that lead and conversion is actually getting that lead to buy. Delivery is delivering the product, the service, whatever it is. And then there's retention, resell, and upsell. Those are the five core functions. Lead generation, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell. And here's where you as a CEO should always be focused on understanding what's going on in your business. Lead gen, nurture, retent, or lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell. And those five core functions will keep your business moving forward because here's what you should be doing. This is how we coach our clients. I'll give you exactly how I solved the issue with the client I talked to this week because here's what almost happened. We talked for a while because he came to me and said, I have a delivery issue. I need help with the product. I need help with understanding um, how to coach at, you know, how to add coaching programs, how to add new products in my product line. And what we found out by talking was that there's a reason that his business hasn't grown as fast as it should is that when it comes to lead generation, he's at about a two out of five, maybe. But when it comes to nurture, he's at a three or four out of five. When he comes to conversion, he's at a five, when it, a solid five. When it comes to delivery, he's at a five. When it comes to retention, he's at a, a, a really high number on retention. He doesn't have resell or upsell, so he was looking at how did he do that. But here's the problem. The way the five core functions works, you read them from left to right, and if you are less than a three out of five, out of, uh, or three out of five on any of these, that is where you must focus and correct until it gets better or you're going to break the entire thing because here's what happens when you don't have enough leads coming in 
and you built out your nurture system to where my client had. He was a four out of five, maybe a five out of five. Conversion was a solid four out of five, but maybe five out of five, in my opinion. I mean, they they might have been a little harder on themselves. Delivery is a five out of five. He gets nothing but testimonials, and he just had he just like gets he has tons of loyalty with his clients. The one place that he isn't strong is retention, resell, and upsell. So you can't start there. And here's the issue. If you will consistently analyze the five core functions, they will focus your efforts as a company. They will focus all five currencies, your time, your effort, your energy, your your focus, and your cash because you're always spending money when you focus, when you put time somewhere. And if you consistently analyze the five core functions, it will stop you from doing something like this client was going to do by building out more delivery because I want to give you a mental picture of what happens. If you think about lead gen, nurture, delivery, conversion, retention, resell, and upsell going from left to right, well, if you go out, if you have a one or a two in the beginning and you go build another part of it out like delivery, retention, resell, and upsell, so you build out more products, you build out more systems, you're going to invest company resources in doing that. You're going to invest your own resources in doing that when you haven't solved the lead generation problem, that if you solve that lead generation problem, you could grow the business. But here's the real issue. If you start putting time, effort, energy, focus, and cash on the delivery where you start building out products and trying to sell more to the clients that you have but not actually getting more clients because you haven't solved lead generation, you could end up diverting resources. And then if your lead generation hiccups, you've built an infrastructure in delivery that you, that could actually be, that could outpace the company. You could spend more in delivery. You could be putting more into delivery. And then if you have a hiccup on lead generation, if you don't fix that, you could actually put the company sideways. And that's why a lot of businesses go out of business. Here's why a lot of businesses fail, especially those that get over three or $400,000, really around somewhere between three and $400,000, things start changing in a business and the entrepreneur has to be doing something really right. But the problem with when you get over those numbers is if you're not consistently assessing lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell, you might build your business in the wrong place. You might actually start putting time, effort, energy, focus, and cash into a place of the part of the business where it could be a liability because here's what happens. Build out delivery systems so that you don't have enough leads coming in, but you have really good nurture and really good conversion and really good delivery and retention, resell, and upsell. Here's what will happen. The clients that you have, although you don't have enough because you haven't really solved lead generation where it's automated, where it's coming in, but the clients that you have are asking you for more, so you start building out delivery systems instead of just getting more leads first, those delivery systems could drain the entire organization. And I've seen that happen. And it happens over and over again. Because, you know, you're not looking at the lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell. You can end spend, you can end up spending time in your business on the wrong thing. And if you, you le- read these from left to right, if you start working on anything to the right when you haven't solved the one before it or the one before that or the one before that, you are creating a massive liability. And there's a reason why lead gens first, that starts the game. There's also a reason why so many entrepreneurs don't want to focus there. It's also one of the hardest things to the long term for the long-term growth of a business. But it's one of the last places that entrepreneurs want to focus. And in order for lead gen to be more than a three, you have to be getting leads like you know where there's a dial that you can turn up and down and get leads. You might not be getting exactly your target lead and you might not be getting them at the best price. That's how you get to a four or a five. But you're getting, you, there's a dial you can turn to get more leads. And if you don't have that, then you have a huge liability in your business. And Nurture has a similar scale. When we coach our clients, we have them analyze the five core functions every 90 days in depth and then every 30 days when they're in their goal setting meetings to see if they're making improvements. 
because this is where you should focus. And what will happen is if you're a business owner for a while, sooner or later, a consultant or an accountant or someone's going to come in and say, hey, you know, I think you don't have a COO. And this quarter, I think it's really time for you to put this COO in place. And if there isn't a, a way that you're solving something in lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell, that is the next thing your company needs. And somebody diverts your focus like that, and you don't make sure that it happens, it's going to be like a gut punch because here's what will happen. You're going to focus your team in the wrong place. You're going to put time, effort, energy, and focus there. You're going to tell them it's going to help. You're going to spend money there. You're going to create a new reality for your company in your head of how good it's going to be to have this new thing in the business. Like my client had already done all of that. He was already excited about it. Like he'd already sold himself on this. He wanted to, to go right away. Like this was what he was going to do. He was going to just deliver more, but still didn't have a dial he could turn for leads, like kind of, you know, some systems to get him, but not great. And he had already switched because here's what happens to us as entrepreneurs. We'll focus on what sounds fun. We'll focus on what our natural tendencies are. We'll focus on what we want to do instead of focusing on what the company really needs, especially if it's one of these four or five things that we don't like. Lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell. The one place like for me, I can't stand being is in conversion. So I will ignore it. I won't look at it. I, the conversion is the act of taking the sale. So in my businesses, it's really hard for me because I'm a natural salesperson. I, I, I've never used sales systems. I started selling with my dad when I was a kid. I was eight years old. I worked at the swap meet and I figured out like if you did certain things, people would buy and I can't even really tell you what it is. And then, you know, every business that I ever had, I did sales, but I never followed a system or a structure or anybody else's way of doing it. I just learned by trial and error and figured it out. And I've sold billions of dollars in product. Um, like hundreds of millions on TV alone. And still, it's so hard for me to focus on conversion in my business because like, I either have to do it myself or I have to take what I do naturally and make it into a system that, and it's so hard for me to figure out what I'm doing and make it into a system. And I've seen some people who can do that like crazy. Now, when it comes to how I run my business, I'm I, making it into a system is what I do. That's what we sell. That's what we coach on. But when it comes to making a system to sell our product, oh, it's one of the hardest things I do. I'm actually working on it in our current coaching model right now, but we're at 2 million. If I don't leverage sales, if I don't get salespeople in place, if I don't put multiple salespeople people to support our business with a proven system that I know the conversion percentages of, and I don't, and I just hand it off to somebody else to do all that for me, unless you can't sell, like you should be the person is if you've been selling your product to get your business going, then you have to turn the, that into a system. So I'm actually doing it right now. And, uh, you know, all of us go through this. And so look at your business right now, give yourself a ranking on lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell, and figure out where you should be focused and start to the lowest number to the left or start to the lower number to the left. And if you have a lower number to the left and you have higher numbers to the right, stop, focus there, and you're going to see your entire business grow faster than you might have ever thought it could. And focusing here will stop you from going in your natural tendencies or to what sounds fun or to what sounds cool or what to, to what sounds like something you want to do instead of what the business should be doing next. Because every single one of us has a tendency to go towards what we want to do, not what we should be doing. And I'll put myself right there with every other entrepreneur I've ever coached that we all have a place where we want to focus. But... We'll, we will draw our focus, but we, and that's where we will focus instead of where the business really needs. And here's something that's like important about this is if you haven't been running business for a while, you don't have perspective to understand that you don't notice you're doing this until usually it's far too late. 
But once you have built out the wrong side of a business, you might not know exactly why you did it, but you start getting some sensitivities to it. But here's, here's the way you avoid it. Go do the five core functions and then compare it to what you were thinking was in the business. Like just do a read and then go with your team and ask them about the five core functions, lead gen, nurture, conversion, delivery, retention, resell, and upsell. And oftentimes you will find the next place you were gonna focus is not where you would have or not where the five core functions indicate you should. And what this does, this consistent analysis of your business in the same way with the, these same five sections of the business will keep you consistently growing and consistently focused on exactly the right place to create the fastest growth. Listen, as entrepreneurs, we have to wake up every day and make the best possible decisions for our businesses. And that's not easy to do in any market. With the world as noisy as it is right now, we have to be even more diligent with our focus. There's a framework that we use in our business as well as our members' businesses that makes this so much clearer. It's called the five core functions of business. When you use this framework, you immediately get clarity on where your resources can make the most impact on your business today. That kind of clarity is priceless at moments like these. So we've put together a free guide to walk you through the five core functions and how to assess them for yourselves. The world needs entrepreneurs like you to rise above the noise and innovate right now. Go to sharpen.com forward slash 5CF to get the guide and get the clarity you need to move your business forward fast right now. Sharpen.com forward slash 5CF. See you there.